as you can see, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Uh, in the 50s. Or will be, I mean. Not right now, but it will be. It's a shade after 11. The guru is at the uh, ring man's house. I presume the ring man is going to drive and pick us all up and go to the gold fields of the bay in about an hour. That's what the plan sounds like. I got. I'm on my way to pick up some knives. I got a fella that's uh, got three cursor or pocket knives he wants me to sharpen. And I think I told you yesterday, I got another fella that's bringing me a gang of knives this afternoon. I have some knives for Wednesday. Stand by. We got a slight change of plans. The Guru and Ken, uh, Denny are going early. They're on their way in about 10 minutes. I'm still waiting for the guy with the knives. So we still got plenty of time because the tide's not low till like 3. It's only a shade before noon now. I'll meet up with them wherever they decide to put in at. They will let me know. Okay, stand by. We got action. Well, I picked up the knives. They're all Kershaw's. Different different models. One's a Ken Onion design. One's a Carson design. And one's it just says it's a 660. The Ken Onion. No, Martin design. Maybe I'm mixed up. I don't know. Anyway, the one on the right is brand spanking new. The other two have some age on them. You can see he told me he's running through a sharpener. Stand by. Okay, we got another stoplight. Let's see if I can find some sunlight here somewhere. You can see that one there. God knows what's happening here. I'll get back to you later. Just pocket knives to be sharp. Looks pretty nice. I'm going right over there where I found all them big rocks and shells at. If you look down there about half a mile is where the big park is. Where the slide used to be. That's where a Guru and uh, the, go the Ring Man are. I saw their truck. So they'll probably be coming this way. We may run into them. Just like I like it. Stand by. Looks like a chunk of iron. We might have knocked off the bottom part of it. Looks like an oil can or a, you know, a can. That's the top on the other side. Cool. First target. Well, that's a good sign when you see a gold chain hanging in your scoop. I don't know if it's real gold or not, but it's gold in color. <laughs> Stand by. Got some markings on the clasp. See it right there? But I can't make out what it is. Stand by. On this end of the beach. It's been a long time since I've seen one of them. <laughs> that baby's older than I am. Good gracious. Well, I haven't had any really good sounds to dig, but I got a 12 13 here, sounds pretty good. I got one scoop of it off already. Nice, low 12 13. Three scoops. Four scoops. Come out of there, baby. I don't want to go to China. Huh. 
Well, 14 solid now. I mean, nickel. Pull tab. I got a couple pull tabs. I got a little bit of change. I guess I better be looking, see if there's any marbles in there. I thought this was going to be a shallow target. Yeah, it might be another one of them fuses. That did sound pretty good. That is still six inches deep. I got two foot of sand on it already. Stand by a minute. Look at that. A spoon. Or a fork or some spoon. Damn, it's an old baby too. That's the guru of the chain man, ring man. They made it on this side. Ah. See what they're doing in a minute. We'll catch up with them. I just dug the first nickel of the day. I thought it was a silver nickel, but I think it's 1998 or something like that. Got something right here. Hold on a minute. 1209. It's kind of shaky sound though. Like something else is close to it, you know. I think we got it though on the first scoop of it. See no 1209s. Ah, oh, I see it. Piece of aluminum. See it right there. God. Make sure that's what it is. Ring man's got him a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro. What does it say is that, isn't it? Nah, I think it's copper. It's, it rings up like a quarter. Oh, how does Guru make it out? How you make it out, Guru? I wouldn't even look at it. I'll give you $100 for it. Right it's not real heavy either. Yeah, you got two quarters. No, I got a dime. <laughs> You got some ice there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it looked good in his scoop. Yeah. I got people like had a heart attack. Can't even put the loop on my chain. It says 14K on it. That's okay. I like 14K. I ain't seen it in so long. Feel how heavy, how heavy it's it is. just not heavy. It don't even feel like it. It could be copper or something. Yeah, don't feel it. it. Doesn't feel real heavy, does it, it? It ain't more than what two grams. No, I don't have no uh, idea. Look, more than that, but yeah. It's uh, yeah, I swear it's just 14 k right on it. Got another call from a lady. Said she had some knives to sharpen. She lived a long ways away, but she only lived a few minutes of where Chris worked. So she dropped them off with Chris, and Chris brought them home. A family of three nice shuns. You know anything about knives? You know these are fine knives. Something to do tomorrow with those other pocket knives. Stand by for the roundup. 
Roundup. Got a nice knobby shell whelk. Another spark plug. Three or four whatsits. Big fuse, spoon, dime, nickel, three pennies. Some pull tabs and some aluminum. And it, I got the tube, but I got the top on the tube this today. This is a smaller tube. Paint tube or something like that. And a 14 gauge ankle chain, wrist chain. I don't know what kind of chain it is. But it's not too bad considering I haven't seen any gold for 2005. I mean 15. Until today, that lucky hat from Mike Mark Tomchek. Thank you, buddy. We'll see how it goes tomorrow.